Good morning, friends. This is Sari again. Today, we got 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with 5.9 liter Cummings engine. Okay. Uh, I got opportunity to uh, show you the internal parts in this engine because they started a knock the engine when I crank it. Okay, um, the purpose of this video is to show you the internal parts on the engine like a uh, piston, ring. Estamos en frío, mira, largado. Escuche. Una cosa rápida, mira. Mira, mira. Mira, mira. Mira, mira. Okay, Fox. Okay, the first thing is we started remove the head bow or the the block, the bow block, the head and the top. Okay, uh, this is a lot of things. Uh, we started um, remove the radiator, the airlines the after cooler lines they come to the turbo goes to the after cooler and then come to the manifold intake uh, take the the fan the coolant fan and take off the accessory belt for make this bit a little bit short because it's a long thing to do. Okay. The, the first thing to do after remove the radiator, accessory belt, air houses, we start to remove the, the manifold intake. Okay, this one they got four bolts uh, use a 10 millimeter socket okay you remove it okay another thing is we got a, a heated air heater for the engine when a uh, cold water it needs to be cranked because this engine they don't have the glow plugs we need to be warmer up the air before crank this is made automatic so you don't need just to you know nothing to do just to put the ignition key on automatic they got some solenoid that send the power to the air heated and then when you crank it they shoot down okay we continue we remove the bulk cover they got six bolts and remove the some vacuums and breathe hose okay this is the bulk cover they got six bolts Okay, we well, continue. The next step is we remove the injector wires. Okay, this is the plug. They come to the ECM. They got this plug is for the the three force injector. If they got in the back side another plug for another three 
rest injector because this engine is six cylinders in line. So they got six injectors. Okay, after remove the plug, they got the injector nuts. So each injector they got two nuts. Use it. Uh, I will use the electric ratchet with a millimeter socket. For loose the nuts, okay. That the particular thing in this one that the nuts keep on place because keep on the wire. It's just that you lose it. That's it. Okay, we started take off the wire to the injector. It's kind of like a valve cover gasket too. This. Okay. We are continue. The next step is remove the rocker arm and then the pushy rod. And then first thing is take the well in this case I will remove first the the common reel for remove the common reel we take the map sensor plug out the high pressure sensor plug out and this and loose it the, the injector lines Take the clamps off was on the on the head. Remove the return line. Remove the the high pressure pump line goes to the reel. Okay, this is the high pressure line goes to the reel. Keep the the nut off and then don't the common reel is out this common reel is the goes to the bring the the diesel to the injectors on the same pressure they got some high pressure regulator and they got some overflow valve this thing regulates the fuel pressure and this one is the overflow when they got too much pressure they open the valve and the, the fluid goes to the tank return return to the tank okay we got off the common reel and then we take the another part It's like a, a space between the ball cover and the head ball. Well, I got rocking, rocker arm off and the pushy rod off. But this one, the pushy rod was on the cylinder number five for take off. You need to be taken for one blow was in the fire 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 wall okay after well let me show
Okay, yeah, this will remove the space between the valve cover and the, the head. Uh, before we remove the, the rocker arms, uh, this push it row on the cylinder number five needs to be go on the firewall and remove the plow, plastic plow, okay? And then you got some plenty room, pick it up all the way up and then it's lie and take it off, okay? This is that for cylinder five or cylinder six. Okay, right now we start to remove the injectors. Okay, for 24 millimeters socket, lose it. The, the nut, there's the keep on place, the pipe bring the diesel to the injector and lose the injector for 10 millimeter socket in both sides take the nut off and then there's the nut off they keep pressure on the on the pipe slightly to be and pull the pipe off because it's only they got all ring Keep the fluid on the place. Okay. Keep the pipe off. And take that. Put some screwdriver or some pickup tool under the injector. Push it down and injector come out. Then this is the injector. Well, do it something like that for the, all the rest injectors because this is six injectors okay after remove the whole injectors we start to take the bolts on the head bow okay when you got all the bolts out the head bow is ready for remove that's what I did it after uh, take the injector off and loosen all the bolts on the head. Okay, friends. Here we go. How we continue? We got the head valve off. Okay. This is the return line on the back. Uh, the, the head valve is very important. Uh, we don't need to remove the manifold intake, they keep on the plate with the turbo, just to loose, take the bolts was, and the gaskets was set on the head. In the front side, you take uh, a couple supports for the fan or for the radiator. And then, in another side, you keep on place. Okay, the head is off. Okay, yeah, we see the first inspection, what is going on, this engine is knock when I crank it. Sound like a tuck, 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 Okay, uh, we put off the head, um, go see, and turn the engine and see the first inspection is on the top. To the piston okay Ooh, surprise surprise cylinder number two we see let me turn the let me turn let me turn the the piston and goes to the top for C. Much better what's going on on the piston. Ooh, don't look good. Look like something melt. Okay. This one you see only, but maybe underneath is the more bad. Okay, I will start it. Push it forward and back the piston forever. How loose, how loose is on the on the engine. Okay. Oh, 
No. It sounds like a tat tat. Okay. Maybe this is the reason they cast the the knock. The engine when it's cranky. Okay, this is how we started to take piston off. And inspected the the main bushings, the main bearings and the rod bearings too. Because the cylinder looked fine. Looked like, looked like the problem was in the piston. Okay, we started to remove all the pistons on the block. Ooh, okay, look. And the piston number six, they find another problem. This one, the piston come out with the rings broke and the shirt, the piston shirt, like a squeeze. It looked like some this motor got problem, lubrication problem, and the overheat problems. Okay, I will start all the pistons, and we are clean. This is what I show you. This is the part. Uh, it look bad in the engine. This is the piston. Well, as I will show you, this internal part. Well, this thing is ready for overhaul, but I will show you all the rest of the parts when it needs to be replaced. Okay, in this part, we got brand new pistons. We got pushing rod and the rings. I want to show you how is the mountain, the parts. Okay, this pushing rod, they got new rod bearings. Oh, this is the mark shell power made for federal mogul. Are we unboxing for C? Okay, this is the piston. This is the snap ring, goes to the pin between. Okay. Okay, this is the the pin goes and in the piston and the pushing row goes put together piston and pushing rows. Okay, I will try to see set in the pushing row we see she's loose. Oh no, it's very tired. It's just a slide. And we see in the piston. A slide too. Okay, for mountain, we use uh, wet grease. We put the some grease on the, on the piston, on the pin on the rod pushing rod and we put the first the pin before put the pin on the on the piston a slight little bit like this like this and then set 
check the marks say front in the piston set the pushing rod on the piston and slide the pin and go down put the snap ring on the keep the pin on place okay check make sure it's still in the groovy they got one each side okay I will start to show you the rings okay I put the two as not bring each size Uh, they got three grooves in the top side of the piston. They got one metal housing. This is the piston rings. This is the first compression ring, the second compression ring, and the third one is the old lubricator ring. Okay, this is the number one. number one ring all the time we check on the ring the face is a top top that's what I mean the the face goes to the top of the pistol or watch the up this one is the second ring You say top two, the face goes to the up on the on the ring. And the third the third ring is the oil ring. They come for one spring inside for keep the ring tight to the cylinder. Okay, I will start to set the rings on the on the piston. Okay, this one is one thing I will start brushing the cylinders. We use some uh, tools. They got some rocks for brushing and make some grooves for lubrication when you put a piston. Okay. And then I will show you how to put the piston on the cylinder. It's just uh, put a pushing roll, the pistons, and the put the rings, put on the block, and then we set some compression rings on the piston. We use the tool like uh, the cylinders. They got some part you set on the place and then uh, tight for the rings keep tight on the piston and then in this purpose we don't have too much room so we use some uh, little bit piece of weight for keep on down the piston okay and then the piston is in the place it's just a slide all the way down and then go underneath for put the rod bearings okay the piston is in the place we are go
under the truck for, and see where is the robbers okay look this is the the road bearing goes to the main to the um, to the crunch up and then we put the main bearings with some grease in the top size okay and we put another we grease two on the cap okay we put the grease and put in the member on the cap they got marks put the mark with the mark keep on place put the bolt they got two bolts one in each size and then tight tight uh, we use the uh, torque for uh, put the torque on the on the cap so we are continuous Uh, I will show you how was the old uh, rod bearings. Look at that. This one, all the first cap, the Babbitt, or oh, some special metaphor, was complete gone. So yeah, I was in the second cap, like a bronze. This is this important thing. Check it. I we put a new one beside for you look. This is with a new one. Look the difference. Yeah. If you have some Dodge Ram diesel Cummins and you work hard we need to be checked this made row rod bearings let's see how it's okay and we set the head valves and we started uh, put a new head gasket and we started tight the bolts goes to the middle go outside use the same tool put the torque i don't know the specifications but you need to be checking the book uh tight the specifications say in the book and started put all the rest back together after that we started put back together the pushing rods the rocker arm and the injectors or pushing rods injectors and rocking rod. it's not matter Okay, after tight the head bow, we are continuous. And started put all back together. Here we go. Okay, we you see the pushy rods on the place, and we start put the injector. Uh, the first thing is the pushy rod put some oil on some grease because they got some 
on the lower size some lifters so this important thing you see it needs to be go exact to the lifters and move it back around for see this on the place okay another step is put the injectors add a brand new injector I will show you how is mount the injector it come on set it come injector with a pipe there's already to put it in come for the o rings <clears throat> okay this is the injector it come already set on the place remember this injector the guy just a one place because the pipe goes to the injector for bring the diesel goes to the pump or goes to the camorial this is you set the injector with the uh, fuel in there and watch in the pipe so you set like that Here we go and then for another size on size to the head this is the the pipe fitting diesel to the injector they got one position using these two little me bolts on the top this were a groovy and that I asked the o-ring so you turn a little bit, turn a little bit, and then push it in. And after that, you push, put the nut for keep on place and you tight. Like this. Okay, after the injectors, we continue and we'll put the rocker arm okay before put the rocker arm you need to be set the balancing a couple pieces of metal between the valves because this is 24 valves you got two intake two exhaust you set make sure it's on the place and they got bolt on the top and tight after tight you need to be calibration the valves this is another tricky things but this is not purpose the beat this is purpose show was internal part of the engine okay after put the rocker arm on the injector we put the injector wire okay we put the injector wire and the uh, come on reel on the place and put all the things and crank it make sure it works fine it's not sound anything okay and we sh make sure the lubrication goes to the to the valve the top to the head valve you see everything is fine it's not not the engine so we started put all back together after put all back together we see work perfect the Dodge Ram again, back to the road. Okay, my friend, this is Ari, I shared this time. 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with a 5.9 liter Cummins engine. Uh, knock the engine, uh, show the internal parts. Uh, don't forget, share this video for the friends, put the bell, when they put a new video, they say hey, and put a like it, and comment it, uh, whatever you want uh, and we respond okay my friend this is Ari uh, show you it's 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with a 5.9 liter engine knock the engine thanks for watching the video